When we think about ancient habitats, we often think about things like woodlands or heathlands or even the magnificent coast here. But will we ever consider an arable field as an ancient habitat? Surely the constant cultivation means that any plants that grow there are simply opportunist. And yet there's a whole set of plants that require this intimate relationship with man in order for them to survive. And that's our arable flora. This is Munt on the Ceredigion coast. With its 14th century chapel, beach and national trust status, it's a favourite for day trippers and marine life watchers. It's extraordinary to think then that this beautiful piece of coastline is Wales' only arable site of special scientific interest. Here in the arable land on Teguin Farm, we can hope to find species such as bugloss, corn marigold, weasel snout, small flowered catchfly, corn spurry and field woundwort. So these plants are really rare and I'm not sure what we're going to find here today, so let's have a wander around and see what we can find. All of these plants are dependent on a symbiotic relationship with man. If this soil isn't ploughed, then the survival is threatened. If it's put down to grass, or sprayed, or even fertilised, then centuries of the cycle of growth, flowering and seed setting are lost. Now oh, here's corn marigold. Now this is a common plant in arable fields. It gives a really showy display. You may recognise it from your garden. Uh, but here it's truly wild. That's a really nice thing to see. And there's some more here. There seems to be proliferating in this field. Where would these plants have survived before humans started cultivating the earth to produce crops? They would have survived where there was the creation of bare earth, for example by the trampling of wild animals, the fall of trees, the erosion of riverbanks and the sea, or stormy runoff during heavy weather. Once man started to enclose land and cultivate crops seven and a half thousand years ago, they found a niche where they could thrive. Archaeological evidence shows that the crops of Neolithic farmers were home to such arable plants as corn salads, false cleavers and corn flowers. So here we have two interesting plants. We can see all the seed heads of corn spurry here. Uh, that's already flowered and set seed and that will fall down into the crop so that when it's ploughed it'll come up again next year and here you can see field woundwort. You might know them as things like red dead nettle which grows quite commonly in gardens and plants with the name wort at the end were often had a medicinal use so at some stage in the past this would have been used for healing wounds. And again like the corn spurry the seeds will fall into the soil and come up next year. Agriculture has gone through many changes, including the increased use of mechanisation and chemicals. Arable plants that may have survived and moved around through the collection of seed can no longer do so due to sophisticated seed cleaning machinery. Similarly, the introduction of herbicides has meant that fields have become sterile for anything other than the farm crops and perhaps also for the insects that used to feed on the arable weeds. Arable habitat is in decline. Where once it covered nearly 500,000 hectares in Wales, it has shrunk by 65%. In the past, each farm would have had a few fields to grow root crops for winter feed for the animals and cereals for flour, bread or beer. Now Wales is increasingly given over to livestock and even feeds are bought into the farms and the small, low intensity arable fields are increasingly put down to pasture. We've seen three of our key species that we wanted to find here and we found lots of more of the commoner arable species which is really great and that's exactly what we want to find in this small field here in Kenadigian. And you can find out more about these species by looking at our guides that we have produced by Plant Life. Uh, and these are available free from us or you can download them on our website. So it's really important that schemes like this support our farmers to conserve our arable flora. And yet sad to relate that the last extinction that we had in Wales in the plant kingdom was an arable plant, downy hemp nettle. And the next potential extinction is another arable plant, the corn buttercup. Many farmers receive support from the European community to support their livelihoods and also to help conservation. Margins of fields like this 
are unsprayed and unfertilised to give arable plants a chance. But the take up of these options has been very poor and more must be done to make sure that species rich margins are conserved and promoted. Arable plants are travellers in both time and space. They must have places to grow, but they also need cultivation through time, which only man can provide. It is this connection that makes them unique in our flora. We need more people to know about them, to seek them out and to treasure them.